Welcome to the Cary Systems Technical Institute video training series. This program will review the DOORS 32 DOORS for Windows software basic installation and configuration. The presentation consists of 16 modules. For proper installation and configuration of the software, please view the modules in the order listed. This will ensure that the information needed for programming will have been created and is available. Modules 1 through 9 will guide you through the installation of the software onto the host PC and configuring the hardware and operating parameters for proper programming and operation. Modules 10 through 16 review additional features used for basic system operation, communication between the host PC and controller network, and manual control of the doors, inputs, and outputs. This is Module 13 of 16, Event Monitoring and File Maintenance. Event monitoring and file maintenance provides real-time viewing of activity in the access control network. It also provides functions for managing event collection and storage. Access the setup monitors and event screen from the setup pull-down menu and select monitor and events. It is not available through a toolbar button. The setup window appears. In the Monitor View Names field, it provides for three separate monitors, each monitoring different types of events. You can provide a descriptive name for each monitor. Just click in a name field and enter an appropriate name for each monitor to be used. The default value would be Monitor View 1, Monitor View 2, or Monitor View 3. The event file type defines the time period by which event files will be sorted and stored. Click on the radio button corresponding to the desired event file time period. Event auto collection allows controllers to automatically upload event information when the controller's memory reaches a defined limit. Click in the checkbox to enable auto collection. To enable auto collection for individual controllers, you must turn dial out enable on and set a threshold percentage via the setup system controllers pull down menu option. This process was described in the system controllers presentation. Access messages tab allows you to define how doors should handle each possible event message a controller can generate. The message text strings are the messages displayed on screen and in reports for each event. They can be edited, but use caution. Changing a message string may obscure the true meaning of an event message. Click in an event message text field and enter the new message if desired. The Save to File column allows you to designate which events should be saved in the event file. It reduces the event file size by removing unnecessary events. Click the button On to save an event. Click it to Off to not save the event. The Print in View columns allows you to define which events will be displayed in Monitor Windows 1, 2, or 3. Click the button on to display the message. Click the button off to not display the message. The sound alert column allows events to generate an audible tone on the host computer when that event occurs. You can turn the sound alert on or off by clicking the button to toggle between on or off. Do not enable the operator acknowledged sound alert message or you will create an endless loop of alert, acknowledged alert events. Click the icon tool button on the toolbar to acknowledge a sound alert. This button only appears if you have activated the sound alert feature. The controller reports event allows you to designate which events the controller should report. 
it may not be necessary to report certain events, saving control or memory space. Click the button to toggle between on or off to report or not report that specific event. The Event File Maintenance tab allows you to archive event file data in year, month, or week increments. The archive time value is set in the Monitoring Options window. To select an archive to perform, click on the row with the type of archive to perform and the row is highlighted. Then click the Archive button. Click in the Select the Folder field and enter the path to the folder. Or click the Select Archive button and browse to the Archive folder location. The Archive folder location may need to be created prior to performing the archive operation. You have an option to enter a description of the archive in the comment field. Then click the OK button. The archive is now saved. The location of the saved archive file is displayed in the archive folder column. To restore an archive, select the archive and click the Restore button. Browse to the folder in which the archive is stored. Once the folder is found, click the OK button. The archive is now restored to doors. After the archive is restored, it must be archived again and saved to the same or a different location. To operate the monitors, click on the Operate pull-down menu and select Start Monitor or click the toolbar button icon. The monitor window appears. The Operate Monitor window begins real-time monitoring by clicking on the Monitor button, opens up to the three monitor views, and collects event data from the controllers by clicking the Collect button. Click the Collect button to immediately download all events from all controllers. Event collection status is displayed as each controller is polled. Click one of the three window icons to open that window, and then click the Monitor button to begin real-time monitoring. Clicking on the Monitor button will first collect events from all controllers, then begin to monitor events in real time. The Monitor Communication status displays the number of events collected, the connection type, the communication port, and the online-offline status of the network. Events that meet the monitor's configuration are displayed as they happen. Use the scroll bar to scan through the events. Events that appear in the monitor view window will also be sent to the archive files. If the monitor window is closed, then reopened, the events window will be blank and begin collecting new events. The previous events are not lost. They have gone to the archive files for storage. Click the Stop button to stop real-time monitoring. You may click the X box to close the monitor window. And return the controllers to collecting events and holding them in internal memory buffer until connection with the host PC is made at a later time. This concludes Module 13 of 16, Event Monitoring and File Maintenance.